Just in time for Halloween, the original Wicked Witches of Broadway are back. Adina Menzel, Kristen Chenoweth are reuniting for a highly <laughs> anticipated. <laughs> Not as young as I used to be. It took a little longer than I anticipated. <laughs> <laughs> and guess who caught up with them? Jenna. Jenna, Jenna yes. Yeah, and I'm glad you caught up with us. I actually <laughs> saw Wicked when both Adina and Kristen were on Broadway, so I was so excited to chat with them about the show's 15th anniversary. Wicked has become a global phenomenon. It's played in 15 countries. Wow. And yeah. seen by more than 55 million people. Wow. So Huge. this massive hit, right? Yeah. Is a reunion for the ages. In 2003, singing sensations Adina Menzel and Kristen Chenoweth first stepped onto the Wicked stage. I sat down with the Tony Award winners at the Marquee Theater during the TV special's rehearsal. Okay, it's a theme song. <laughs> it's weird to talk to you while another woman is singing a song. <laughs> Kristen introduced the world to the highly ambitious and popular good witch, Glinda. One of my favorite moments in rehearsal, watching her create popular was watching a comic genius do her thing. Ah. Yeah. It was in the moment and not afraid to take any risks and sort of like sculpt the whole thing and watch it come to life. Adina won a Tony for her powerful performance of the misunderstood Wicked Witch of the West, Elphaba. When we opened, I said to her, it ain't gonna matter what the critics say. We have, you defy gravity. Yeah. Yeah. That's a moment probably in the top five of of all music theater history. It was a great feeling to levitate up there. And Come on. The original Elphaba and Glinda will once again be making Broadway magic, all to honor Wicked's 15th anniversary. The two will be performing and hosting next week's NBC special, A Very Wicked Halloween. Can you tell me what you're singing? I'm doing yeah. Defying Gravity. I'm doing a song that rhymes with pop you are. <laughs> yeah. Guest performers include Ariana Grande, Pentatonix, and Adam Lambert. Since leaving the show, both actresses have achieved unimaginable successes. Adina voiced Princess Elsa in Frozen. I never knew what I was capable of. And is about to hit the road. Oh, you're going on tour. Is that yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, I'm going with Josh Groban. On Thursday, That's we'll cool. be in Atlanta. Kristen has earned an Emmy Award and is committed to helping young talent. And you have started a non-for-profit to help other kids get into Broadway. Hmm. Yes, it's the Kristen Chan with Broadway Boot Camp, singing, acting, dancing for a week. And what does that feel like to be passing I probably couldn't have had the moment without Wicked. Yeah. Don't you feel that way? A show like this really connected us to young people and made us these role models. Before the witches disappeared for rehearsal, we played a little Wicked the Lightning Round. Have y'all gone back to see the show? I did with my son. And I had to leave after the first set because he was so rambunctious. Your favorite Wicked song? For good. For good. For good. She's right. Pre-show ritual. I always steam in the shower and warm on my voice. Do you do that too? Yeah. And then I pray. <laughs> Lord help me. <laughs> Any props or mementos that you stole? I can't confirm or deny, <laughs> but there might be a version of a wand somewhere. It's true. I did find it in a box. I was like, can I get, your dress is in Smithsonian, mine was in a box. I was like, can I get mine? Is mine at the Smithsonian? They're like, no, girl, we don't know where it is. I'm like, oh, crap. Is yours at the Smithsonian? Yes. And yours was in a box? Mine was in a box. Do you um, relate more with Elphaba or Glenda? Both. Both. Yeah, I think as women, you, you, you relate to both, especially yeah. now. Yeah. We have a little bit of each of them in us. That's right. Yeah. What a great oh, interview. Oh, Y'all wow. can get more of them if you want because a very wicked Halloween airs next Monday night at 10, 9 central right here. That's going to do so well, Huge. don't you think? Yeah. Don't you love those songs? Love. I took Mila and Poppy to the Wicked think? this summer, and they just they, they can't stop singing Defying Gravity. Oh, my God. They can yeah. hit that note? No, wow. They can't. I didn't say they can hit it. <laughs> okay. <laughs>